Example four, we don't need to do graphing on this one. We're just finding the equation of a hyperbola with the center here, zero, zero, and a horizontal transverse axis. So I'm going to stop right there and think, okay, I've got a center at zero, zero, and a horizontal transverse axis. So the standard form is going to be x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals one, since the center is at zero, zero. Don't have to worry about h and k. The horizontal transverse axis has a length of 12. Well, the transverse axis length, recall, is equal to 2a. I'm given that that length is 12. If I take 12 divided by 2, that's going to give me a equals 6. The conjugate axis, recall that the conjugate axis, the length of that, is equal to 2b, which is 6, b equals 3. Now, I need to find a squared, which is 6 squared, or 36, to put in here. b squared is 3 squared, which is 9. Now, a squared divided by, excuse me, x squared divided by 36, minus y squared divided by b squared, which is 9, equals 1. So this is the equation for a hyperbola with the center at the origin, a horizontal transverse axis, and a conjugate axis with a length of 6. That concludes this lesson on hyperbolas. Thanks for visiting educator.com.